Let's go ahead and make sure we cover the five most common functions in Excel. So sum, average, min, max, and count. Sum is going to add up the total for a column. Average will give us the average of the column. Min will find the smallest value. Max will find the largest value. And count, of course, will count the number of cells that contain information. So consequently, these blank ones are null. They don't contain information. Now, let me just quickly show you. I'm going to go all the way up and look at using the auto sum or what I call the easy button here. And if you notice the challenge with that is it's only going to sum till it finds a blank cell. So in this case, we want to drag all the way up and make sure that we include all the numbers. That way, remember, this is dynamic. If we then need to add a number in here, say we get the information, we can. Um, now, let me show you another snafu with the uh, easy button. If I select average, if you notice, it's including the sum and the average. That would not be the case. We want to make sure, again, that we include just the values that we're trying to work with. This is why, folks, that I always go ahead and type in my own formula equals min. I'll, again, drag through the values I know I want to include and say enter. I'll do max as well. And this way, I know I get the right answer. Because what we're about to do, we'll do the count next, equals count. And if we were to count up the number of cells here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, See, I've just audited that. I know 22 is correct. Now, at this point, it's pretty easy to fill in the rest of these, okay? But you do have to be careful. So I can just drag and copy over. Now, what I want to do is make sure that this value here sums up column G. So if you notice, if I just double click on it, it'll give me the formula and it will show me the values. I can also go ahead and hit the um, hold on just a sec. Control tilde key, so it's the control key plus the tilde, which is the key above the tab. So I can do that in here in, as well. And if you notice, it expands and shows me my formulas. So that way I can go and make sure all the formulas are correct. All right, so that's it. You have an opportunity to practice and you have the answer on the sheet.